Hello everybody and welcome. I'm going to be doing something here what some people told me to do quite a while ago, maybe months ago, and I got some replies lately. That I want to do is, it changes my contrast of my color somehow. Oh well. But yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is, I'm going to be doing, uh, how do I record my videos? What programs do I use? What device do I use? And all that stuff. How do I make my videos? How I make them today, you know? So, okay. So, the programs that I use is only three programs I use. It's Pinnacle Studios, uh, Audacity, and, uh, oh, uh, Camstasia Studios. Those are the three I use to record. Uh, for Pinnacle Studios is mostly what I use to record my my console games and I use uh, Audacity to record my audio for the console game as well so I use Pinnacle Studios and Audacity, Audacity together to record my console games and what I use for my like for emulators you know my DS Game Boy Advance online games I do whatever like those stuff I use Campstasia Studios. Uh, and these programs are not free, but you can look at anywhere else where on YouTube for free, as always you can find them for free. And um, this is the programs I use: is Camp Studios, Campstasia Studios, and all that. So this is where I record my screen, where I'm recording right now to record this uh, my how to record and stuff. So this is what I use here. Um, uh, so let's get started how I record my console games. Let's start with that. So I go to my capture in here. Right here. So this is what I use. If you want to follow this, if you can, if you want to, but this is my way, how I do it. So I click on capture here. And it comes out the screen. Yeah, as you can see, it looks quite dark, but it lights things up. Because it's starting like a new program here. So my settings here for Pinnacle Studios are right here. Uh, if you go to my capture source, it takes a little while. I uh, use NTSC for my TV standard. Uh, my aspect ratio 16.9, and basically yeah. Uh, the format I use for capturing is MPEG one and one half, one and a half I mean, and custom. So I change all these stuff myself. So I use um, MPEG. Two here and 720x40 at 480, and then I put here. You can choose two stuff here: quality or data rate. And I choose data rates over 10,000 uh, k bits here, so because that gives me the good amount of quality I need to record enough. And 480 for my simple range for the audio and MPEG layer two. So that's basically right there. And my settings in here are nothing different here. Just only one here is my NTSC progressive window screen is uh, the so I can make it uh long ways right here as you can see right here um uh, for my video so I can see it um you know so I can see it wide screen so you can see it full screen you know without seeing these black edges a lot you know so that's what I use here. My video and audio pre uh, preferences are nothing here differently, nothing at all. This one I really don't worry about because I really don't use it. But if something is different about here from yours, uh, changes to these settings I have here, and yeah, same goes for this one as well, like these over here. But yeah, so let's click OK, and for that I apply it. It changes the quality, maybe a, a few something, you know. And for here, I use components, and um, my brightening is just in the middle. My shadowing, you know, the brightness of the shadows is in the middle as well. My target is always the bottom, or just two points from the bottom. My coloring, because we don't want all purple, green, whatever, you know. So it's at the middle as well, to get it that really good color right there. And the same goes for this one over here, for your other coloring. To go from black and white to color. So yeah, so let's start by like recording a little one. So 
So, by how I record here is by going to Audacity by recording my audio as well. Audacity is a free program. Uh, I'll put a link down below so you can just go there quickly so you don't have to search it up or nothing. Um, I use Audacity to record my audio here. So, what I just do is just check my settings so they don't mess up. So, I use a microphone, USB, audio. Okay, as you know right here, as you saw right here, I use a... Uh, for my settings, I use a Dazzle DV C100. That's why I used to record my, my my videos mostly. It costs about fifty dollars, or maybe a lot cheaper if you buy like an Amazon or something like that. But when I bought it when on the store, it was about fifty dollars. So it's on the right Dazzle, but not the best. But it's not right for me. So I use uh, that, and I use my program here, Audacity, to record my audio. The microphone that I use is a snowball and it's a blue microphone. That's what it's called, but it's called blue microphone and its name is blue is a blue snowball. Um white snowball, whatever. You know, it's like that, you know. It's an expensive microphone though. It's quite like about eighty dollars or so, a hundred or below a hundred to eighty dollars. Because this is like the one good microphone that you can get from those other ones as well. Um, this is what I use to record my my voice and plus I have like a pop filter to cover my, my noise background more behind me out there and it quite helps a lot as well uh, and Audacity gives you at least a more perfect sound to get it you know uh, I'm gonna record something here and then I'll upload it as well I'll put it like in the middle of the recording once I record this how it sounds different from Camstasia to Audacity how clear it sounds like. So I will let's start clear uh, recording the subject section. So what I do is mostly so I can get it like so I don't have to edit a lot. It's mostly I make it a uh, half half screen because I use my TV to look at my gameplay because I have a splitter. Uh, mostly it's two females and one male. Like uh, yeah, you know the two points parts where I connect it to the dazzle and to the TV so I can watch my video for the yellow cable and uh, and uh, the female where the hole goes for the 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 yellow cable goes through so I can see it for my TV and for my uh, Pinnacle Studios program here so yeah that's what I use to so I can look at the TV and at Pinnacle Studios so what I do here so I don't have to edit a lot from the beginning is uh, I just go here to start capture here because uh, I do first is I start capture from Pinnacle Studios first because Pinnacle Studios takes like a second to uh, to render out, you know, so I can start recording. And uh, Camstasia Studios takes, I mean, I mean, Pin uh, Audacity takes just like a second to record. And somehow my program on that just froze up on me. I don't know why. That didn't. Alright, let's reopen this again then. If we can. So, alright, I'll be right back. There's a little cut here so I can open the program again. Sorry about this. Okay, and we're back. So, uh, this screen will pop up a capture video here. So I say, what, what should I call it? I never named these. I just put like video 240 or something just to put like a number because this I don't really worry about just because I know which one I made so I really don't care about this but if you want to make it more organized if you want to just put the name of the episode you're gonna make today it's like Dragon Quest what I'm doing Dragon Quest 8 episode 5 or something like that so I really don't care about the name I just leave it like that and I just use uh when videos are available uh space runs out I just use that one and yeah so I just click start group start uh, start capture I click it quickly and go over here when it starts up I click over here and I start recording you know just like a little recording so I don't have to edit a lot you know so because I don't want to like uh, because if this was more ahead 
like the Pinnacle Studios are over here is more ahead than um, my Odyssey. I don't want to edit a lot, you know, because if I record a lot that day, you know, like today or something, I record a lot, I might forget where my placings are, you know. So that's why it makes it more easier for me to record more and me to edit the video easier. So yeah, so let's just continue a, a little quick game here. So let's start by going to my here, my first one. So yeah, I'm gonna be pressing this like right now, so you can see how different my Camstasia Studios audio sounds like from uh, Audacity's uh, audio here, because right here is more clear to play as, as you can hear right now. So I do right here. So this is where I record right here. Uh, I just. You know, just play what you're gonna say, you know, uh, I always always start with like, hello everybody, welcome back for some more Dragon Quest say In the last episode, we defeated this boss here, so now we're gonna be taking on uh, the next monsters, you know, I just say something from my day from the last episode. So I just play around, you know, all that stuff, look around, and continue with the game, you know. So that's good enough, you know. So let's. So what I do now is I stop the video here, stop the video at the same time as well. What I do as well is ish as well as it doesn't really matter. I just stop at most. Then after that, uh, for Audacity, I just go to File and Export uh, this file, and then I it's just because it's my recordings here, as you can see, all of my recordings. I just click on, uh, I'm just gonna make a title saying, test for, uh, how I record, I'm gonna call it, so let's save it up, put OK, nothing really need to change right there, so let's head back to, edit, so this is the second step now, we already did the capturing, now we're in the edit, so let's bring this down here, and so for my how do I get my audio is I go to this little music button and show music I click there and I head to my area where I recorded my audio so I head to my library my music and I head to record my recorded for HT so I head down where I recorded my program my recording my audio actually so I click there and drag it down here to either one of these. It doesn't matter where you put it at. So I just put it right here. You know, it doesn't matter where you put it at. Down here or above here, you know. So all you can do is this. Uh, there, drag it right there. And let's cut this up right here from the beginning. And there you go, you know. There's a little sw clean swoop right there. And then at the end, I... So I cut as Wilkes, I use a split clip right there, and I just cut it from here too. Take it off, delete it, and there you go. It's really simple if you do that, how I did it, like start uh, Pinnacle Studio first and then record your audio. Uh, this is my way I do it, it makes it really simple to me for doing it. And so yeah, so that's my thing I recorded there. And yeah, so how I do my audio as well is um, I go to how I take off these black marks. As you can see, you know, you see these black marks, you know, oh, they look ugly, you know, like how do I take those off? So I head to this little camera here next to the speakers here by the name of this, uh, the file you're using. Let's click the little uh, open close video toolbar. I click that and head to cropping right here, pictures in picture or camera keying, I click that right there. So the second to the bottom one, uh, I click that one. So this is how you can take off your little, your black bars here. But to get this, uh, you need to get a, to get a code here. Because if you don't have that code, you cannot use this cropping tool. You know? So either you can just upload it like this with the black bars, or you have to get the serial number, and it will take off those It'll give you this program here, right here, the the file right here I'm using to take off the black marks. So yeah, 
So what I do here, I center the video, I go to cropping, and I just go crop the video, you know. Because this is going to be like a little fest thing, I'm not going to crop that well. So I'm just going to crop like that, like that, and like that, you know. Good simple cropping. So now I just stretch it out how big I want it to take off these black marks. So I just go drag it over here, drag it down here. Drag it back up, and as you can see, the black marks are mostly gone right there. Like, there's really not black marks. So, yeah, so that's how I do the cropping. Really simple with this, you know, nothing really different to do right there. So, yeah, after I get all of this right here, I go to the third step right here. After I got the audio, the video, and the music. Same thing goes with music. If you want to add a music, just go to um, to your audio here. Go to your library, music, and add like a music right here, you know. Whatever music you want to add, you know, to this. Just click on it and just drag it over to the bottom one right here. You know, like this right here. If you want to add some... You know, so... If you want to add like something like that, you know. Some music on it. So that's what you just do right there. So that's why you got one for your music and one for your audio. So that's what you do. If you want to add like a picture, just go to your pictures here. And just drag one down here. Like I want to add like a Joshi. Let's just say that. So Joshi's going to appear right there, you know. So right here, where I'm the middle edge, right here where I added the picture. That's where you put the pictures at here. So all the pictures you want to put, I, you put it right there. So yeah, so that's basically it. Um, and right here in the bottom of where the T's at, that's where you put your titles at. Like if you want to make like a title of, so you head to your T right here in the middle, and want to add a title, just drag it down here, and click it twice, and just put a tag title, you know. Maybe you're going to start this up, maybe you can put like, Dragon Quest A V V V I. Uh, and then episode 5, you know what I said. So just click OK. And there it is, you know, it's going to show episode 5. And if you want to make it like seem like it was like a OK cut, you know, like, like it, you just don't want to make it disappear like all of a sudden. Like if I'm dragging right here, like, oops, it just disappeared, you know, like you don't want that. So just head to here, to the second button right here, translations. And just click on any of these if you want to to make it look um, better. So after that, I clicked on it. Click over here. Then and it's watch. You know, like and it's smoothly it goes away. So if you want to make it not like choppy, like if you edit a video, I cut it from here. I split it here and I split it from there. And I wanted that choppy part of like, like boom, all of a sudden like that. Then I would use one of these so it doesn't look that horrible. For more and see how like that, you know. So it doesn't look that horrible with their little cuts right there, you know. So like what's that? So that let's say that's my video right there, you know. All good now and all that stuff. So by that I'll go to my three, make a video, make a movie, volume, you know, publish it. So what I do here is I go to file the second right here, so I can make it into a file, you know. So there's a lot of program that, there's a lot of file types that you can use. You can use audio, AVI, flash video, MPEG. So what I use is Videos Media. That's an alright one I use. This is like the best one I say in Pinnacle Studios that you can use because it has more uh, presents in it. You know what you can use your files there. Uh, you can record as a medium quality, a low quality, a high quality. Or some HD stuff, you know. But you don't really have to worry about these HD things right here. Because unless you have an HD capture card, then yeah. Other, other than that, so, uh, this program, this all uh, things don't really concern you really a lot. So what I use is a uh, high quality NTSC 5.1 surround. Because that gives you the good audio that you need for this program here. So with that, I'll create the video here, and I'll call this, how to record again. 
how do I record? And it renders, you know, like it's a little, depending on how much you put on a program, it renders around. So, as you can see right here, I'm at 156 of 2,122 frames. And you can see the progress right here, how much I'm at, it's just like barely in a quarter, I'm barely going, you know, like how much more I'm going. So, we're going to let this render out, and we're going to come back to this uh, at the end. And yeah, I think I'm not going to cut it actually. I'm just going to put it how different it sounds like right now to my commentary right now. So, yeah, so yeah. Or might, you know, never, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, now let's go to um, my uh, Camtasia Studios, how I record from Camtasia Studios. So, I can't record right now because I'm already recording from Camtasia Studios. So, let's say I, I recorded something, you know, I want to upload something. You know, I would record it, right? So, I just go to Open Programs, um, let's just click on one of these I made, you know. So, let's click on, um, huh, I don't have nothing that I recorded. So, let's go to, right here, um, I'll be right back after this. Okay, and we're back. Alright, sorry for that little cut. So, from here, from the software you record it, you'll get these little files right here called Capture 1, Capture 2, whatever it's going to be called. Whatever you call it, you know. You got, you can get these uh, little captures, and it did, then they turn out to be these files that you recorded. Uh, this program will record your audio, your game audio, and your video at the same time for you. Uh, but this doesn't record console games, as, as I know, but it doesn't record your console games. It records just your, your, like, your screen, all that, all that stuff, you know. So, this is my, what I record with, you know. So, how I change this is by going to Zoom and Pan, same thing as, uh, Pinnacle Studios, Studios, how it gives you these black bars, like this, you know gives you these black bars. Same thing how it goes. If you want to know how to take these off, as I said, just go to zoom and pan, as I use, click on maintain aspect radius ratio, take, unclick that, and drag it down. But here's the catch. Sometimes it does this, where it re-clicks it on again. So it just only to do is just re-click it again, because I don't know why sometimes it goes back and checks it again. I don't know why. But yeah. So it just do this, you know. Just keep cropping it the way you want it, and you know, you got a crop video. So there you go, that's how you do it, you know. And then you just play your audio, you know, you play the video, how it sounds like, you know. Team is okay, yep. Elite team? Team elite? So team. like that, you know, something that's, you know, it's gonna sound like that, you know. And so that's basically it, you can add on uh, anything else, you know, if you want to add another audio just go to tracks here and add another audio three track and you'll get a third one but the limit is a third one so you cannot add another one so the third one is basically if you're gonna add like music in it you know so that's basically what the third one is and as well as it says Pinnacle Studios if you want to add translations as well I really don't use this because I really don't do cuts and this but just go to translations and then, you know, I'll do the little cuts and all that stuff. And basically that's it, yeah. And let's see what I was going to talk. Um, same thing as if you want to add like a picture here, like if I want to add this bra thing here. And basically like that, you know. Like a picture over it, I can just do that as well, you know. If I want to do that. So, same thing, you can just go to your library, add it to your library, you know, drag a picture from your, from your here, a picture like this one right here, like the Joshi again. I put that Joshi back there again, and I just drag it down here, and then the Joshi shows up, you know. So, he's going to be there for that whole point, how long I wanted it to be in. So, that's basically what I do right there. Uh, and then, uh, 
after I'm done editing the way I want it to be, cropped it and all that stuff, I go to uh, produce and share. And as well, for the recording screen here, um, it's basically two bars, two uh, little cubes. I don't know if I can show it. I don't know if I can do double. Let's see. Am I still recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm alright. But it gives you this little uh, recording here, right here. If that makes any sense. Um, it gives you a little timer. So if you ever wonder how long you've been recording for, it gives you like, a little timer right here. How long you've been recording for. So as you right here, you see I am recording for 28 minutes so far. And yeah, so here you can choose your... So it comes up with two little, uh, little boxes. One that shows your audio and one that shows your what device you're recording with, you know, like your are you recording with your microphone, your headsets, from your computer screen, like what, where are you recording from, and yeah. And also it gives you like a little dimension box over here, you know, like a green little box right here that you can stretch it out how long you want it to be or how short you want it to be. So as you can see right here, how I'm recording everything here from the screen right here is because that's what I wanted to choose from. Like, either you can customize it yourself, make it as long as you want to, or how small you want to. So that's what I do from there. But from that, um, after I'm done editing, all doing that recording editing, I go to uh, produce and share. I click on that, and there's a lot of options that you can choose from here. Blog, CD, DVD ready, um, HD, iPad, iPhone, iPod, web, and you can actually do it to YouTube. So by that, you either you can do it from the web. There's two options that are how I do it. Either A, somehow the, uh, the sharing to YouTube doesn't work somehow. I go to web and just fill out the name, like what I'm going to call it. Um, same thing, how do I, rec how I record you know, and then just, uh, then finish it, and then after that, and it's going to take a little bar right here showing up, uh, how long it's going to take right here. This little progress, uh, same thing as, uh, Pinnacle Studios, how long it's going for. So let's cancel that, because we're not using this. So yeah. Or you can use how to share to YouTube, you know. If you want to share to YouTube, you just click there, and it shows the same thing, just two different bars right there uh, sent into YouTube, you know. One that's sent into YouTube and one that's like rendering off your videos. So by that, it sends it off to YouTube into your account and it makes it easier way not to spend more time on it. But here's the good thing though. When you render it to your web, let's just say that right, it takes about 12 minutes to upload to your account because uh, Camtasia Studios is using a program that YouTube likes, an MP4. Right here, where am I at? The formats, MP4. Because YouTube loves MP4s, it uploads quite fast. Then, uh, WMV, what I'm using here. This takes about, maybe, about 40, ep 40 minutes to an hour, sometimes. I know there's other people that upload it, like, in a minute, or 12 minutes or so, like, same thing. But mine doesn't. Mine takes about 40 minutes to an hour to upload. Depending how long I'm doing it for. But I always do about 18 minutes to 20 minutes right there. And it takes me about 40 to 60 minutes as I said. But because uh, Chem Chemical Studios... Campstasia, I mean. I don't even know what I'm saying. That seems like Pinnacle Studios and combine them together. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, Campstasia records in a format that YouTube loves so it uploads quite fast. So you don't have to worry about how long it's going to take. It uploads really fast. For me, yes it does. I don't know about other people though. So yeah, so that's what I use the program right there for Camstasia. That's what I record with. So yeah, so let's go back to our video here that I recorded with. And let's see how it sounds like. How I recorded. How different it sounds like from Pinnacles to um... to um, you know, Camstasia. So let's go find the video here. Uh, where's the video at? How I record. 
the heck? Okay, there's K's, G's, where's the H's? Alright, somehow this thing is not working, I don't know why did I do. Didn't I call it how I record? Oh, there it is, found it. I put it inside the my Dragon Quest folder, but yeah. So let's click on how I record. And you're gonna see the difference from here. Okay, somehow didn't play the audio. Okay, I don't know why recently it's doing that, but basically the outcome of the video um, comes out to something like this, mostly. Uh, let's go to uh... Right, Hello on. everybody, welcome back towards some more Kingdom Hearts in the last episode, please. So, uh, it comes out something to today, you know? Finding all the item station this is what it so produces at the end. Like yes, you know, this with Riku and uh, the sound of one game, you know. That's how it produces. There. I'm gonna be posting this like right now. As you can see right here. See how different my Camstasia Studios are. So right there as you can see. From uh, everything is different right there. Uh audio here. Because right here is more clear to play as as you can hear right now. I don't know, for me it's, it's really different from uh, Audacity and uh, Camstasia Studios. The one I say is best more is uh, audacity to record with because they this one sounds more clear than um Camp Sager Studios because I don't know why but yeah it's still the right program that you should use and yeah you know so I guess that's pretty much it what I record with and the, basically the next point is just uploading to YouTube you know now uh, nothing just different they just upload how you upload a video and stuff like that you know just go to your uploads and just put the file in and upload it but basically that's it and yeah so thank you guys for watching this hope you enjoyed this video hope this helped you how to rec how I record or maybe how it'll help you how I record or something like that but at least uh I just want to help you guys how it's by how I record and show you it off so thank you guys for watching and see you guys later for some more of my let's plays so thank you guys see you guys later